guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Misa for those that are new here. I upload videos every Monday and Wednesday. So today's video is tutorial with Makeup by Mario Time Sephora Collection. I was so excited when I saw that they were collabing. I've said this before with so many different things. So the packaging came beautifully. And then there's a beautiful matte black box. Then when you opened it, all the brushes were lined up and it came with this plus of buying the whole collection all together was that you do get two extra brushes. This is Mario right here. He is so inspiring. He is known for doing Kim Kardashian's makeup. He's always someone that I've been inspired by. Let's go ahead and get started with this brush tutorial and I'll just kind of explain each brush as we use it. All right, first and foremost, I'm going in with a primer. This is the Too Faced Do You luminous face primer. I really like this one because it's hydrating. It has a really light, pleasant cucumber scent. It just leaves me with a really nice glowy base. These brushes, they are so heavy. The quality, and I'm not just saying this, is out of this world. It's a nice weight to it, and br bristles, they're synthetic, but they feel so soft. The foundation I'm going in with today is a Tarte Face Tape. This is the foundation brush. This is the first time I've used this foundation. So do you have any goals for the new year? Okay, the shade does look light for me. Well, the foundation is a little heavier than I'm used to, but. Okay, so now we are switching to concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. I just thought I'd stay in the Tarte Face Tape family. Now, the brush for concealer is so tiny. I am not used to applying concealer with such a tiny brush. Love how precise you can get with this little brush. We got history, yeah. Do you feel like it makes doing concealer really slow? I'm not pretty sure about that. I am going to have to watch him use it and see exactly how he applies everything. I usually don't have that much time to go that in depth and detail and I know that sometimes that can make the biggest difference but I am just gonna go ahead and go back with the foundation brush. Okay, so this is what it looks like blended out with the brush. The next brush is the powder detail brush. I actually really love this brush. I took it, I took this whole set on a trip that I took last week to Disneyland and this powder detail brush is awesome. Taking the Hourglass setting powder, it's great for dry skin and it's really great for underneath your eyes to set your concealer. This is the little powder brush. I'm just tapping and then brushing. And I do like how this is, it's not as fat as some, of, as some of the other powder brushes that I tend to use. I like how it's a little bit smaller, still the perfect amount of denseness that when you apply your powder, it's not moving around any product. Well, I've yet to do a tutorial on this KKW Times Mario palette, The Artist and the Muse, but I'm going in with the fluffy blending brush. It's just called the blending brush, and I'm gonna go in with Don't Move. And to just kind of deepen that up, I'm gonna go with I'm Inspired. Now let's use the, it's just called the shadow brush. So I'm gonna go in with Mario's Muse, which is a beautiful like reddish color and I'm just going to, oh wow. This is the first time I'm using this brush and I like it. It just seems more denser, so it picks up these metallic shades really well. I'm just gonna take this big powder brush and brush away some fallout. That palette does have a little bit of fallout in it, not too bad, but it's there. So be careful. Not incredibly talented in the contour department, so I'm excited to use this contour brush. There's two of them. There's a slanted contour brush and a contour slant, and then just the normal contour. I'm going to go in with my shade and light palette, the middle shade there, which is called Shadow Play, and I'm going to try 
to contour. I'm gonna go in right below my cheekbone, just kind of. I like that it doesn't pick up too much product because that's always the fear. Now that I've contoured really lightly, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer using the Fenty Beauty Island Tan. Guys, I hit pan last week. Isn't that nuts? Good thing I have a backup. So I like this one, it's a little bit denser, so it's picking up a little bit more product, but that also scares me a little bit because I have a routine down so well with my bronzer, but I'm always willing to try new things. I definitely wanna learn new things. And if the master says to use this brush, then that's what he says. Wow, that really just kind of hugs your cheekbone. I like that. Yeah, that looks nice, wow. I really do like this slanted brush though. I think I like it better than the other contour one. Um, I feel like it just left a really nice bronzing glow. My only thing is, is a brush for a nose contour. So I'm wondering if maybe I just take a, take a ride on the wild side and try to use this for a nose contour. Wish me luck. I'm just going to, oh. onto the blush brush. Cheek brush is what it's called. Blush, absolutely my favorite part, guys. And I got really familiar with this brush last week, as I said, so I'm going in with the KKW times Mario. Very graceful blush. If you are one of those people that is afraid of blush, think that you don't want your cheeks to look pink, or you just think it's for, I don't know, a different age generation, think again, people. The blush ties things together. It brings in color and warmth. And if you're really nervous, this is such a great option because it doesn't, I mean, I'm getting product here. It doesn't have too deep of a color payoff. And so it's so easy to bring that warmth back in without patchy, deep color. I want to kind of work on my eyes a little bit more. I'm going to go in with this little smudger that it's called the smudge and I'm going to go in with I'm inspired. I'm going to go in with color. It's called Lyric from Kat Von D and I like to just bring some brightness back into my face clean up any kind of fallout I had with this shadow. Now let's go in with highlights. So there's this little highlight brush that comes with it. And at first when I saw this brush, I was like, this is a highlight brush. What am I supposed to do with this? Is it even going to work? Watch, it works and it works great. And I am just going to hit the spots on my face. I like to have like a little nose highlight. I used to have the hardest time highlighting the bridge of my nose without it looking crazy. This brush does the trick. It is so great for that nose bridge highlight. I'm going to add some on my brow bone and then smile like this. Cheek highlight, I was nervous about it at the start too but I think it just adds some good dimension. I am going to hop off camera and do my eyebrows really quick. If you wanna know about my brow routine, my last video has an in-depth brow routine. It's really easy, really simple, so if you wanna go check that out. Almost done, people. Okay, brows are done. I'm going in with the Morphe Continuous Pink Mist. Now going in with that other mist. While that is drying, let's go in with a lip color. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood. It's a really pretty color. I'm going to go in with my House Laboratories eyeliner. Not going to do a wing, I'm just gonna do a nice little, as I say, I'm not doing a wing, a wing. like what did I just do, right? Oh my gosh, that's, oh. The realities of makeup. I said I wasn't gonna do a wing eyeliner and then I kind of did and then it completely <laughs> didn't work out. So I had to take a makeup wipe. Oh, 
and get rid of a lot of hard work. But that's just the reality. So I'm just gonna cover that with powder and then I'm going to just take whatever's on this blending brush and try to bring it back to the same. There we go, that's not bad. Let's try this again, folks. I go in with my Benefit Roller Lash Top and Bottom Lashes. Finished. The look is complete. I love any of the brushes. I do think there are a couple brushes missing, but maybe I'm just not using them all the right way. If you had to choose one or the other, I would definitely say go for the complexion set. An awesome set with that blush brush, the highlighter brush, both of those contour brushes and the powder brush. By far be my favorite set. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like button if you made it till the end, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.